Well, welcome everybody to 21 Days of Devotional. And so today we just want to start by actually acknowledging God's faithfulness to us along the journey. You know, for many years I've carried this little red stone in my pocket. It's a stone that I picked up on the beach in North Wales before I became a pastor of the church. And it's a stone that every time I touch it in my, my pocket reminds me of God's purposes and his plans and his daily provision for our lives. I think all of us live, as it were, in three places at one time. We live in the past, we live in the present, and we live in the future all at the same time. And through all of those three phases, actually, as we look back or as we look around us or as we look ahead, it's always acknowledging God's faithfulness. There's a verse in 1 Samuel 7, verse 12, and, and it reads like this. It says, Then Samuel took a, a stone and set it between Mizpah, two locations, Mizpah and Shen, it says. And he called the name of the stone Ebenezer, which means a stone of help, saying, Thus far, hitherto, as the King James would say, the Lord has helped us. The then that mentions there always needs a when. And that then came at the end of 20 years of, I guess, spiritual famine and external oppression by the arch enemies, the Philistines. But the people had called on God and God had come through for them and, and the, God had caused, caused confusion in the, in the enemy and they'd begun a journey of self-destruction and actually it ended up with a great victory for God's people. And at the end of that time, Samuel the prophet, the leader of the nation, singled out and set up this stone and he gave it a name, he called it Ebenezer. Ebenezer meaning this is the stone of help or, or acknowledging that God had been faithful to the people and that he'd led them thus far. Three simple things for us to embark upon our devotion today that will hopefully take us through these next 21 days for us always to remember. Number one is actually the reality of us having that moment of reflection, looking back and acknowledging God's faithfulness to us. When Samuel says, thus far the Lord has led us, what he's actually saying is, as we look back, God has been faithful to us. He's led us, he's provided, he's been there for us the good times, difficult times, challenging times, and, and blessed times. But as we look back and take a moment of reflection, for you and me today, it's important for us to look back and reflect how God has been faithful to us. But it's also a, a moment for us to have a moment of recognition. Recognition that it's God who's been faithful to us. He says, thus far, it's the Lord who's led us. It's nobody else, it's nothing else. It's not our own ingenuity. It's not our own planning and purposes. As we look back over all the year of our life, this last year, or all the years of our life, some days will be great memories for us, some days difficult. But even when we arrive at today, we need to have a recognition moment that today, in this moment, God is faithful to us and he will continue to be faithful and he's gonna be faithful to us today. But the third thing is also the reality that in that statement that, that Samuel made thus far, hitherto the Lord has led us, he's actually making a statement of revelation. Sometimes we think it's thus far and no further, but actually what Samuel is trying to say is it's thus far and forever that God who's been faithful in the past will continue to be the God who's faithful in the future. He will continue to provide daily bread for you and for me. He will continue to provide peace in the midst of our storms. He'll continue to be the one who heals. He'll continue to be the one who guides. He'll continue to be the one through all the journey of our life will be a God who's faithful. So I hope that for all of us as we start these 21 days, but also every day, that you and I can acknowledge God's faithfulness and as it were, raise our Ebenezer and say, thus far, and as we go on, the Lord is faithful.